श्री गुरुवियो नम चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू प्रैक्टिस एक्सरसाइज थ्री वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स बिफोर दैट लेट अस रिवाइज द कीवर्ड्स फॉर सब्ट्रैक्शन इट विल बी हेल्पफुल व्हेन वी आर डूइंग द वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स विल रिवाइज द कीवर्ड्स नाउ हाउ मेनी मोर फ्यूअर देन रिमाइंड्स how much more fewer difference minus less than take away and decrease so these are the keywords for subtraction now we will learn the word problems in subtraction first question let us read In an election, candidate A got 2,458 votes fewer than candidate B. Look at the word fewer than. If candidate B got 2,85,765 votes, how many votes did candidate A get? So now. will learn the question so candidate b got 285765 and a candidate got 2458 votes fewer than candidate b so here for candidate a the exact number of votes given we want to find the number of votes which the candidate a got so here the clue word is fewer than so just now i have told you fewer than is a clue word for subtraction so if you subtract the given numbers you will get the exact number of votes which the candidate a got so now let us do the sum first statement is number of votes candidate b got because for candidate b the exact number of votes were given so number of votes candidate b got equals 285765 and the second statement number of votes candidate A got fewer than candidate B. Fewer than candidate B. How many votes? It is two thousand four hundred fifty-eight. Now we are going to subtract to get the number of votes. The candidate A got number of votes. Candidate A got. Write down the minus symbol to indicate subtraction. Now write the place values: ones, tens, hundreds. Thousand, ten thousand, and lakh. So as I told you, start from the ones place. So in ones place we have five and eight. So first number is smaller than the second number. So we are going to borrow from the next digit. Here we have six. If you borrow one. it becomes 5 and write the borrow number in front of the number which is in ones place so now you have 15 and 
if you subtract 15 minus 8, you will get 7. 5 minus 5, if you subtract the same number, you will get 0. In 100th place, we have 7 and 4. The answer is 3. Thousands place we have 5 and 2. If you subtract, we will get 3. And look at the 10,000 place. Here we have only one number. So straight away we can write down. That is 8. And lag place also we have only one number. You just copy down the same number. So now the answer is 2,83,000. 307. So this is what the number of votes got by candidate A. Let us write the answer. Number of votes. Candidate A got equals 2,83,307. Now we'll move to the next question. Let us read the question. 50,000 copies of a book have to be printed and bound. In a week, 25,540 books were completed. How many are left? Look at the word left. Yes, it is a clue word for subtraction. So here they have given that 50,000 books they have to print it. And in a week they were completed 25,540 books. We want to find the number of books left to be bounded. Now let us write the statements. First statement is total number of books To be printed. How many books they want to print? Yes, 50,000 books. And how many books they were completed? It is 25,540. So, number of books. Completed equals 25,540. So now we want to find the number of books are left. Number of books left. So if you want to find the books which is left, we have to subtract. This is the minus symbol. It indicates subtraction. Now let us subtract the numbers. Write down the place values. 1s, 10s, 100, 1000 and 10,000. So, so look at the 1s place. We have 0. 0 minus 0 it is 0. Look at the 10s place. Yes we have 0 and 4. First number is smaller than the second number, so we cannot subtract. We have to borrow from the next digit. But in hundreds place and thousand place, as we have zero, we are going to borrow from the ten thousand place. So from five, if you borrow one, it becomes four. Now write down the borrowing number in front of zero. Now we have to borrow from 1000 place. So it becomes 9. 
So, 1 we have borrowed right in front of 0. Now, borrow from the 100 place. It becomes 9. So, now we are going to write the number 1 in front of 0 in 10's place. So, now subtract 10 minus 4. It is 6. 9 minus 5. It is 4. 9 minus 5, it is 4. And look at the 10,000 place. 4 minus 2, it is 2. So now, how many books are left to be bound and printed? It is 24,460. Let us write the answer. 24,460. Books are left. Is it clear children? Now we will move to the next question. The population of Karim Kanj is 23,678. The population of Azamgarh is 46,567. Which town has a larger population? How much more? Look at the words. How much more and larger. So this is the clue word for? Yes, subtraction. So here the population of two towns are given. In this question we are going to find two answers. One is which town has a larger population? And the second answer is how much more? Yes, now we will find out which town has a larger population and how much more. Let us write the statements. Solution. We have two numbers. In that which is the greatest number? Yes, 46,567 because in subtraction we have to write the greater number in first place. So it is Asamgar population. Write down the first statement. Population of Asamgar. It is 46,567. And the next town is Karim Ganj. Write down the statement. Population of Karim Ganj. It is 23,000. 678. So, to find the answer, we have to subtract because we want to find in which town the population is more. So, here we are going to find out the difference equals subtract the numbers. First, write down the place values. Once, Tens, hundred, thousand and ten thousand. Subtract the ones place. Seven and eight. Look at the first number. It is smaller than the second number. So we cannot subtract. In this case, what we have to do? Yes, we have to borrow from the next digit. Here we have six. If you borrow one, it becomes 5. So the borrow number should write before the number. It is 17. So now subtract 17 minus 8. It is 9. Now tens place we are going to subtract. 5 minus 7. Again the first number is smaller than the second number. So, we have to borrow from hundreds place. If you borrow 1, 
5 becomes 4. Write the borrow number before the number which is in tens place. Now subtract 15 minus 7. It is 8. Now we have 4 and 6 in hundred place. It is smaller than the second number. So we have to borrow from thousand place. If you borrow 1 from the 6, it becomes 5. And write down the borrow number before the digit. Now we have 14 and 6. 14 minus 6 is 8. Now subtract the thousand place. 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. Now we have to subtract the 10,000 place. It is 4 minus 2. Answer is 2. So now we got the answer. It is which town has a larger population? Yes, by comparing the number you can say the answer. 23,678 or 46,567. Yes, this is the greatest number. So, the population of Azamgarh has a larger population. Write down the answer. Azamgarh has a larger population. And the next question is, how much more? Asamgar has a larger population by 22,889 people. Is this clear? Yes, now we'll move to the next question. Mr. Khanna had rupees 20,000 in his bank account. He took out rupees 10,855 to buy a sofa. How much money is left in his bank account? So here the amount which he has in the bank account is given and the amount he took out is given. We want to find the amount which is left in his bank account. Look at the word left. Yes, it is the clue word of subtraction. So we are going to subtract the given two amounts to find out the answer. Let us write the statement. The first statement is we have to start with amount because rupees is given here. Amount he had in his account. How much? It is 20,000. Right with the rupee symbol. It is 20,000 rupees. An amount he took out. How much he took out? Yes, it is 10,855. Now what we want to find? Yes, amount which is left. The statement is amount left in his account. So to find the left amount, we have to subtract. This is the symbol of subtraction. Now we can subtract from the ones place. Write down the place values first. Yes, start from the ones place. 
Look at the place. It is 0 and 5. So, if the first number is smaller, then the second number we cannot subtract. So, look at the digits. Yes, 10,000 we have a number. So, we are going to borrow from the 10,000 place. If you borrow 1, 2 becomes 1. And here it becomes 10. And borrow 1, it becomes 9. So, write down the borrowing number in 100 place. And borrow 1, it becomes 9. And again, you write down the borrowing number before the digit. And borrow 1, it becomes 9. As 1 is the last digit, we have to write 1 before 0. So, now we have 10 and 5. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 5, it is 5. Sorry, it is 4. 9 minus 8, 1. 9 minus 0, if you subtract a number and 0, you will get the number itself. So, the answer is 9. 1 minus 1, if you subtract the same numbers, you will get 0. So, how much is left in his account? It is 9145. Let us write the answer. Amount left in his account equals rupees. 9145. Thank you children. We will see you in the next class.